NPAs, non-performing assets, and clients and business and targets. And you must be thinking and planning about what you will do once you go back home. But for some time, forget all your tensions and planning and enjoy the evening with us. We are starting our first East-West dance, which we can call as fusion dance, by virtue of which we will seek blessings from the God. have heard, read or studied about India, maybe on net, through newspapers. Some of you must have gathered lots of information about India, India's famous locations and so on. In the world, India is one of the oldest nations, rich in culture and maybe importantly a birthplace of many human traditions. Indian culture is as old as the hills and encompasses a wide range of ancient dances. Each and every state has their own specialities, beauty, and we can say that these arts, culture, history form a bridge and connect these states. So today we will enjoy folk dances from each of the states and see how they are different but still how they all are one. What a come. What? I said what a come. <laughs> what does that mean? This means Namaskar in South Indian languages. Vadakkam. That's true. <laughs> this pronunciation is so difficult. So for a Maharashtrian person to pronounce any Tamil or South Indian word is very difficult. Even to speak Kashmiri is very different from any other person from any other region. That's the beauty of India. Dear friends, we are visiting our first state, Tamil Nadu. We can call this state a state which forms the tail of India, Tamil Nadu. It had developed the art of entertainment to its pristine heights at very early age. Many forms of group and solo dances offer popularity or carry sheer entertainment value. Majority of these dances are still thriving in Tamil Nadu. We are seeing one of these dance named as Kargatam. It's a folk dance performed with musical accompaniment such as rhythm instrument called dhol and special instrument called tutari. It's performed by balancing a pot or a pitcher on a head and without the help of hands and the dancers wear dhoti and garlands. Traditionally, this dance was performed by the villagers in praise of the rains and river goddess and even after having good crop, Kargatam dancers move in a procession throughout the village to reach the temple. But today, the pots have been transformed from mud pots to bronzeware or even stainless steel. The pots are decorated with a cone of flower arrangement and then it is stopped with a paper parrot which rotates as the dancer swings along. This dance is very popular in Tamil Nadu. So let's move to Tamil Nadu for sure. Kargatan. Raja and the supreme symbol of cosmic energy. Along with offering flowers, they offer God dance and music as well. Let us enjoy this God-gifted dance of God's land, Keha. Keha is indicating Kashmiri culture and of course it's a feast for us. Kashmiris perform this folk 
when they are happy, of course. At the time of wedding or other family get-togethers, actually it is their one of the way to express love for each other. Males wear Kashmiri caps and carry musical instruments called tuff. And females wear their Kashmiri outfits and hold a big arc of flowers which is called Ghumni. <laughs> special occasion which particularly helps them to mix with other people. Are to der fir kis baat ki? Bolo 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 holi hai. Our next performance is inspired by Rabindra Nutya. Now just guess what I'm saying, okay? Satsriyakai. used as a form of entertainment and moral booster to the tired soldiers of Maratha battle. I think once again our beloved audience can join hands with the coolies. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed the program so far. Thank you very much. Are we ready with the goof? I think so. Yep. Okay, thanks.